Yes, please. It's time for Winner Home on Afternoon Express. Welcome back. This is the show where we follow three talented young designers as they transform three empty properties at Valdivia Estate into dream homes using finishes provided by Caesar Stone and Plascon. And at the end of it all, we're giving away one of those completed apartments to you, worth over three million rand. Now, a bathroom is a space in the house where we get to unwind and relax. Well, it is for me anyway. And if such a space is beautifully designed and elegantly brought together, the experience is that much more enjoyable. After a long, long day at work, there is nothing like soaking in a bubble bath, not for me though, or taking a refreshing shower to get you started off for the day. More like me though. This afternoon, we have Caesar Stone's marketing director, Trevor King, with us in the loft to share with us uh, some of the latest trends when it comes to repairing your bathroom. Trevor, welcome to the loft. Thank you, Danella. It's great to be here. I always love chatting with you because you've got some great pearls of wisdom beneath all your years working in uh, at Caesar Stone. And it's been an incredible experience learning from you. Uh, hopefully, I'm going to be redoing my bathroom soon and incorporating all of your great products that you, you've created. So great. let's cut straight to the chase. I'm ADD. What are the trends for bathrooms in 2016? Well, I think bathrooms in 2016, um, the bathroom is no longer the space behind that door that clinical space that you go to get clean in. Yeah. It's now a place that you go to, to refresh in, to rejuvenate in, and it's a moody place that mm. relaxes you and it's good to go to and exciting to be in. Yeah. Okay. So one thing that I realised the other day, I walked into the bathroom and we had a power outage and I tried to flip the switch and nothing happened and I realised in that moment how much lighting affects the mood in those bathrooms, how much lighting can affect the experience in a bathroom. In your wisdom, what, what effect does lighting have on bathrooms and how can we incorporate great lighting into good bathrooms? Well, having just been to uh, Salon del Mobile in Milan, the bathroom lighting is, uh, it has changed a lot. Yeah. It's now, it's not just a functional lighting anymore, it's now a mooded lighting. Ah. It's providing the atmosphere, it's bringing the mood and uh, it's very intentional and uh, it's really great. It adds a great element into the bathroom design. Yeah, it definitely does. I mean, some of the things you guys are seeing on screen right now are very exciting to see with yeah. the sort of darks that are thrown in there. And one thing I've also realized, you've mentioned the sort of uh, white walls and the really clinical experience of the bathroom, which I think most places generically are. Until I walked into a few of the hotels who are trying to experiment with this space, and they've used really different coloring. What effect does color have on trends for this year? And what are some of those trends? I think you're right. I think the bathroom is no longer this room that's painted white and there's yeah. white tiles. It's colour. There's a lot of colour in bathrooms now, especially uh, muted tones, light pastels mm. with uh, flat uh, off whites and, mm. and blacks and a lot, quite a bit of wood uh, mixed in with the colour. It, it, it creates an interesting space that's exciting, that you can experiment, experiment in, and that yeah. no two bathrooms have to look the same anymore. No, absolutely. I think it's so funny because when we're looking for property, I think the first place we go into a house is always going to be the bathroom because it's one of the places you can experiment with. Is this place innovative? Is this place really thinking beyond just the bedroom and maybe the living room? Are they thinking about that bathroom, which I'm excited about? And I'm not much of a bathing person, but I promise you, if I walk into a hotel that's got an incredible bath or a guest house has got an incredible bath, I will bath. Uh, what are some of the trends in terms of baths and basins for, for this year? Well, the baths that we saw are, um, are almost uniquely freestanding, no more built-in. They're, they're curved and, and rounded and comfortable and soft, uh, often oh. matte finishes, um, you know, comfortable baths to get into. Uh, mm. And freestanding also seems to be one of those big trends with those baths. Everyone's trying to make their baths kind of freestanding. Uh, and if I'm not mistaken, I think some of our winner home uh, contestants are working with those freestanding baths. So I'm excited to see how they are going with those bathrooms. I think they're only in day three at the moment, so a lot of work still to be done. Um, one of the briefs that they've got for this, this bathroom is to incorporate Caesar Stone in there. And they were very excited about this because it's, it's such a versatile product. How do you suggest incorporating something like Caesar Stone into a bathroom if we are renovating or building? Well, Caesar Stone's a great product to use in a bathroom because it's, it's so, so uh, you, you can use it with such confidence knowing that you can always clean it. It doesn't stain, it doesn't chip, it mm -hmm. doesn't mark. Um, so it's great to build the vanity top out of. Ooh, um, good it's, advice. Absolutely, it's great to build floating shelves with. It's great on the floor, and to put full sheets on the walls, um, to to behind the shower and and uh, just on the walls as a, as a feature wall. It's a it's a great product to use. We've got great marble inspired colors um, mm. so you can do great things with Caesar Stone in a bathroom in particular. Yeah exactly and hopefully our contestants will be able to show that off uh, when they complete their bathrooms in their main bedroom. Trevor it's always an honor speaking to you on Afternoon Express thanks for joining us and sharing all your wisdom. 
Thank you so much for having me. It's great yeah. to be here. It's always such a pleasure. Now, pay some extra attention to the bathroom, guys. If I really can give any advice, it would be that. And it can become the calming sanctuary where you can be at peace and obviously start your day off surrounded by breath and taking aesthetics or relax and modern in a modern, particularly simplistic design. Remember that today is your last chance to vote for your favorite guest bedroom on privateproperty.co.za and stand a chance of winning paint from Plascon to the value of 5,000 Rand. You'll also automatically be placed into the grand prize draw where you could win one of the completed apartments worth more than 3 million rand. Also, don't forget that entries for Caesar Stone's Kitchen of the Year 2016 is still open and will be open until the end of July. So if you have a beautifully designed kitchen, for instance, and it incorporates Caesar Stone uh, that was installed any time between, I think, the 1st of January 2015 and the 31st of July this year, this can be your opportunity to win really, really big. Simply log on to caesarstone.co.za where you can enter and find more details as well as get all the T's and C's. Winner Home is proudly brought to you by Private Property in association with Nedbank. We'll be right back.